I was very proud of our team today. I thought what I would consider, you know, we had eight players, but not all of them were healthy. Uh, to play the, we did, the way that we did with, you know, a couple freshmen. I mean, even yesterday, we lost another kid to a sprained ankle. Olivia Brown couldn't play tonight. And I, I was very, very proud of Brianna Jones because she's kind of been sitting on the fence about whether we were going to play her or not. And the thing that really impressed me was after practice last night, she called me and said, whatever you need me to do tomorrow, I'm going to do. And for a kid that's coming back from having a pin driven down her shin bone in August, that took a lot of guts. And I thought she played her heart out. Even the second half, you know, the trainers are telling me she's at a 7 out of 10 on pain. So to want to play and to want to push through was incredible. I, I thought the mental toughness that our team showed today, even Steph Recker, I mean, she took a hard hit, you know, was in tears and still came back and played. It was funny because they said they were going to evaluate her at halftime. In six minutes to go, we really needed to sub. And so she said, I'm good, and came back in with tears in her eyes, running them down the floor. Uh, you know, that's the mental toughness that, you know, not that I want them to play if, if the trainer doesn't think they can play. That's not what I'm saying. But what I'm saying is their mental toughness they showed today was something to admire. And I'm very, very proud of the, the mental toughness and the perseverance that our team showed today against a very, very good team. Uh, a lot of respect for the Purdue's program and for Sharon Bursup. She's done a tremendous job. And we lost to a great team today. But we were so proud that we were able to have that team here. Not many Big Ten teams want to come to Toledo. Uh, the last two were Northwestern and Indiana. And we got them to agree to those three-year deals my first year here. After that, my, my phone kind of went dry. Um, no calls were getting returned, and there were a lot of no's. So for them to agree to do this was awesome. And we can't thank them enough. And, you know, even though we didn't come away with the victory, we learned a lot. And we'll take that forward, and we'll get better. Hopefully we get healthier, too. Questions? The last possession for Purdue, did you want to follow the that you did there? I yes. Kind of yelling. If you saw me going into hysterics, that wasn't a fit. That was me wanting us to foul. And we had talked about it in our last in our last time out. But once again, that's us learning. That's us growing and maturing. And that's sometimes things that happen in practice that you don't get to see. But we'll get better from that and we'll learn. We needed more time to try to score. Now, despite that, six seconds to go, you got in with Anagara coming up the floor. I'll take that. And that's why I didn't call a timeout there, because a lot of times on a missed free throw or even a make, you can get a better shot if you don't let the defense get set up. And that's why we didn't call it there. But you better believe I wanted a foul earlier, and we'll get better. We'll watch film, and I'm sure there will be a lot of things we'll learn from that. Did you want the foul right away, or was there a I wanted to wait just a little bit to see if we could get something easy, but at least by 20. You want to have plenty of time to come up and run something. But, you know, it's, it's one of those learning experiences, and we'll get better for it. What was it like coaching against the alma mater? <laughs> well, you know, it's not the first time. A couple years ago, we had a chance to go over and play Purdue there. And, you know, Namashir had a great game, and we had a chance. Um, we came up short, but I was really proud of our effort over there. You know, it's it's one of those things where I'm very proud of, of my past and the fact that I had an opportunity to, to play at Purdue. And I still have an incredible amount of respect for that program. But to be honest, when you step up and you're, you're coaching, it really doesn't matter who you're playing against. We knew we were playing a great program. We have a lot of respect for them. Um, it's just another game. I know it sounds cliche, but it is. You got to treat it as that. And it's it's a game against a quality opponent that's going to help us no matter what. And uh, it's one of those quality opponents that wouldn't play us last year. Okay, and I'm not talking about Purdue, but I'm just saying we couldn't get that game last year, and it's unfortunate. Just what did impress you with Moses? Did. Moses is really smart. You know, she doesn't she doesn't force things. I think the thing that's most impressive is that we knew she could shoot threes. But the thing that impressed me the most about Courtney is the fact that when she knew we found her on the three-point line against the zone, she snuck behind us. And she's so smart. She's got an incredible IQ. I think her ability, her just her basketball IQ and her offensive rebounding, she crashes the boards. We've got a lot of point guards who are going to be upset tomorrow when they watch film and see they didn't check out. It's because she crashes the board hard. She does all the intangibles. You know, she's, she's somebody that... There's a reason why she's where she is, and she's playing as many minutes as she is. There's a lot of people in the Big Ten that are going to learn those same lessons when she plays against them. A week ago, she didn't score. You can't count. I wouldn't bet against her any day. She's a great player. How much does a game like this, I know you don't love the result, but how much does a game like this help you down the road with this team? I think it helps us a lot. I think Drexel helped us a lot learn how we had to play and talk and communicate. And even though I'd like to stop learning this way, 
uh, I still think that knowing that we can look around and say, you know what, we played to the wire with the ranked team, gives us confidence down the road to do the same. And, you know, win or lose, I think our team knows we were right there. And now we've got to learn how to finish it. Some of it could be free throws. Some of it could be box out opportunities where we didn't second, we didn't box out. We gave them second chances. Could foul. There's a multitude of things that we could have done. But some of those same things we didn't do versus Drexel. So you saw a great improvement already. And I think you're only going to see better going out, especially as we start to get healthy and people can give everything they've got instead of trying to hold a little bit back in the tank. When do you expect Olivia back? I, I don't know. I mean, she tried to practice a little bit today, but still kind of hobbling. There's a good chance that we could have her back by Kansas City. I hope so. Um, if not, you know, I'm not saying by Kansas City, but pretty soon we're going to have Elena back, which would make an enormous difference. Another three-point shooter, ball handler, somebody has got a great IQ. We really could have used another ball handler today. Um, but, again, to have I, the thing that I like to look at the stat, she was 12 turnovers. Um, with just playing as few people as we did, fatigue didn't cause turnovers. And that's a good thing. That's something that we'll, we'll take to the bank. But we've got to get better in the other areas. Coach, Nellie probably played the best game of her career. Nellie played exceptional today. I thought, I thought Janelle did a better job of picking good moments to, to drive and create. And when she saw an opening, she took advantage of it. But her body control, in the past, Janelle was quick enough to get by people, but then prayed it would go in. Today, Janelle had great body control. And when she got by people, she made them pay, or she got to the free throw line, or she used a fake instead of getting her shot blocked. You're seeing a, a young lady. And, and the other thing that I think that I really like is that she did a good job of keeping people in front of her today. Um, that's something we talked about in the last couple games. She was running at people, letting them drive by, and it was hurting us. Um, but she really, I thought, did a great job today. She's a big reason why we were able to hang because she played very intelligently. In the first half, you're already down a starter. Yeah. Stephanie and, and my, gets into foul trouble. Things can go south pretty yeah. quickly there. And, yep. Uh, not only did they not go south, I mean, you were just about dead even with them. Yeah. Uh, it's got to make you feel pretty happy as a group. Well, it's, let's just put it this way. Practices have kind of been up and down with this group. Some days I walk away and I, I feel like I'm the luckiest coach in America. And other days I walk away and I want to practice longer. Um, because we're just not there yet. The difference between last year's team and this year's team is that, you know, some of my young people don't know if it's a good day or a bad day because they have nothing to judge it from. So we're having to learn. And as they, as they understand consistency and perseverance, and most importantly, we talked about focus, not losing focus. IUPUI had a two-point game until about ten minutes ago, and then I think they kind of lost focus. At halftime, that's something we really stressed. And even at that moment when Inma got in foul trouble in the timeout, we can't lose our focus. And I thought we picked and choose uh, or, or did a better job of selecting our shots. Um, we did have a couple moments where it got a little crazy. But I thought we, we chose our moments better in this game than in games past. Anything else?